Hey, it's Tekno Shubuto video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it keeps forgetting your home network that you're connected to all the time and it might ask you to enter your password or it disconnects or it doesn't connect automatically. So there's a lot of troubleshooting steps that you need to follow in order to fix this issue and we're going to walk you through most of them and hopefully by end of it your Wi-Fi stays connected and it doesn't keep on forgetting your Wi-Fi network. So let's get started. So the very first thing when it comes to any troubleshooting with your iPhone, do a force restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, you're gonna press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down. So one after another volume up, volume down, and then you're gonna hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So I'm gonna do, here I'm gonna do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button. And you're gonna keep on holding it. You're not gonna to slide to power off. Just gonna wait it till it shuts down by itself completely. And the screen is gonna go black in a few seconds. And then after it does that, you keep on holding until you see the Apple logo reappear. And at that time, you let go of that button. And this is known as a force restart, which shuts down the phone completely and reloads the software. So if it's a software related issue impacting your Wi-Fi connectivity, it will resolve that issue for you and this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. Now after you have done that and you're still having the issue now the next thing you want to do is simply go into your settings and then click on your Wi-Fi here and all you're going to do in the Wi-Fi setting is click on that eye icon and simply forget it and then rejoin. Now I know it's somewhat simple but sometimes you have to do this troubleshooting step where you forget it and then after that you will go ahead and rejoin again to your network. Make sure you enter your Wi-Fi password. So all I'm going to do is just enter my Wi-Fi password one more time just like that and you want to manually enter it. If you have a keychain I wouldn't recommend doing that. Just manually enter that password just like that and connect to it and hopefully after you do that your Wi-Fi stays connected and it doesn't keep on forgetting your network. Now, if it still doesn't fix the issue, the next thing you want to do in your setting is under your settings in the password here, if you have a password saved for your Wi-Fi, right, you want to go ahead and delete them simply by looking at it and for your password that you have, I would recommend deleting them from your key pass and keychain as well so that they're unlinked from your iCloud account and you want to do it on all of your devices as well. So if you have the same Apple ID on other devices like your iPad, a MacBook, delete it from there as well and then go ahead and rejoin again. Again, this is going to be important as well. After you have done that, right, you can also go into your iPhone's setting here in your iCloud here, right? You should be able to go ahead and see what you have here. But here again, under password and keychain here, you want to uh, go ahead and stop syncing and then resync. So you want to stop the syncing for a moment and then again resync again. That's after you have deleted the keychain in other devices that uses your Apple ID. And the reason why that it is that you might have a device where the password is incorrect or it's trying to keep on connect with that device so it keeps on forgetting the network on your iPhone as well. And lastly, if the other thing you want to do is when you do go ahead and connect to your network right in your iPhone here. Now sometimes you might have a 2.4G uh, or 5G network setting I recommend only connecting to one and the reason is sometimes if you have two of them together they can conflict with your Apple uh, network ID basically trying to connect to either one and it disconnects one or the other and then you keep on getting that prompt where you have to um, enter your password. Now after you have done that and still not working the next thing you want to do is troubleshooting your router. So here I don't have the router but First thing to troubleshoot your router is simply unplug it for about a minute, take the power off, and then turn, and then after a minute, turn on the power, and then make sure your iPhone connects to your Wi-Fi, and that's just a simple restart of your router. The other thing you want to do is that if you have a router, um, and this is going to be a little bit further in terms of you doing a little bit of research, is that you want to go ahead and rename your home Wi-Fi network for your internet. So in your settings here, you know how, how you see this one. You're going to go ahead and rename it to something else and then forget it here. So forget this one, rename your 
home Wi-Fi network to something else on your router. And you can look this up by simply going into Google and there's so many different routers there are. So it's hard to give you the specific instruction, but simply you would search up your router name or the brand, right? Net, for example, Netgear is one of the popular ones, right? And you could pretty much search up how to change network name. And usually it's on the back of your uh, change, uh, as you can see here, chat, uh, the name change, Wi-Fi. And this is gonna require you, of course, it's hard to give the specific instruction, general instruction for it, but most routers will have like an article on how to do that. If you wanna follow that or find a video that does show you how to rename it and then reconnect again and Again, make sure you connect to all your devices. Now, let's say you did that renaming your home Wi-Fi network and it's still not working. What's the next thing you can do? Well, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and, of course, one of the troubleshooting stuff you want to do is in your settings here, go to general, go all the way down here, which is transfer reset iPhone. Click on the reset option and you're going to want to do a network or reset of all settings. And that's going to delete every network connection that you ever had, any Wi-Fi, say password, any Bluetooth connected devices. And this takes about a minute or so, but it's important to do that when you're troubleshooting connectivity. This network reset will not delete any of your personal data, like your photos, videos, apps. So everything will be there when you do that. Again, like I said, it's gonna take a minute or two. I'm not gonna do it just because the sake of other troubleshooting stuff that I'm gonna mention here. And after you have done that and it's still not working, it's time to do a quick update of your phone. And, you know, it sounds sometimes the update from a previous one might have caused some issues. So in your settings, you're going to go to general, software update, and, um, of course, make sure you have maybe sell your data if your Wi-Fi spot here isn't working. But you need to go ahead and update the latest version. Right now, the latest version, as you can see here, 17.1 at the time of recording. But, of course, for yours, it might be different depending on the iPhone model that you have. And now, after you have uh, done that and you're still uh, having issues with your iPhone, the next thing to do is see if your router needs an update. Sometimes if you have a firmware that's older and you updated your phone, it's a newer version, and that, that's going to be for the routers that are super old or really old. If there is a firmware update you can do, you, gotta, you have to go ahead and look that up yourself because each router, again, has a different procedure in updating their uh, router firmware itself and see if that helps. And the last thing you want to do is if you're noticing that the issue of your multiple devices, for example, if you may have a laptop or another um, device, maybe Android device, that also experiences the same sort of issues where the Wi-Fi is disconnecting, that means most likely there's an issue with your router or your internet provider themselves. In that case, you'll need to reach out to your internet provider and report the issue and see if they can do any troubleshooting that they have on their end as well. So that's it for all of our troubleshooting steps. Hopefully by now your Wi-Fi does stay connected and you have fixed this issue. Want to hear from you guys how you are able to fix this issue if you're experiencing it. There's a lot, like I said, a lot of troubleshooting that's been going on. It's sort of a issue that a lot of people have experienced and there's different solutions for it, of course. That's why share your solution in the comment section so that everyone else can also benefit from it. And thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.